Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're doing What If Naruto Was Superman Part 2. Roll the intro. Let's get into the story. Now, we left left off with us doing a time skip to the first part to the um, two exams. So Naruto would obviously go go meet up with his team to go to the junior exams. And I know you guys are wondering, will Sakura tell Sasuke about Naruto? No, because I know I didn't go over this in the past video. But <clears throat> he was in would have ordered Kakashi, you know, before Nar um after Naruto left the room, wait before he was waiting when he realized Kakashi wasn't behind him, Naruto was waiting on him. He was in would have ordered Kakashi to use his Sharingan to erase Sakura's memories of Naruto's abilities. And it will only be awakened when Naruto dis um shows these displays these abilities <clears throat> displays these abilities during the tuning exams. Chris Kakashi would obviously agree because if word got out about this, Naruto would be in grave danger. Which he pretty sure nothing can hurt Naruto anymore. But you know, he would still be in danger. And might be kicked out of the village. For for because the demon was too strong. <clears throat> so in the first part of the tuning uh tuning exams would go relatively the same. There's <laughs> Naruto is just cause he's you know he, you know, hasn't got that Kryptonian knowledge yet. He hasn't trained with Supergirl to gain, you know, knowledge on their abilities, the knowledge of their race and everything. So Naruto's still an idiot. <clears throat> so yeah, but Naruto still didn't answer any questions. But he could have, but he didn't because you know he was still dumb enough to. He still was too dumb to realize that it was about cheating without getting caught, which Naruto could actually do. Because with the X-ray vision, Naruto, you wouldn't even notice the change in his eyes. You would just notice Naruto looking straight ahead, and that's it. That's basically all it is. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's basically the same. So when they would go to the force of death, this is where things change a little bit. So when Naruto was, you know, not talking, Anko would throw a kunai at Naruto. But when his kunai would hit, Naruto would shatter to pieces. So Anko says, that was my kunai, my favorite one. Damn you, kid. As Naruto says, huh? You say something? You know, Naruto would hurt her, but... Because, you know, superheroes, obviously, which he, you know, he has been able to tone down a little bit in the past week. A little bit. <clears throat> and she says, I'll get you for that. And she disappears. As Naruto can see her moving, because the body figure is just high speed movement. Um, high speed movement to, to your line of sight. So Naruto is following her. And she can see this, that Naruto is following her. Before she, man, before she could do anything, Naruto would disappear. They wouldn't see this, but they wouldn't see the streak. Naruto uh, only give a streak of black, cause that's why he's wearing basically all black. You know, with the um Superman symbol engraved um engraved into the, um got it, basically got the Superboy shirt with the black ninja pants and the black sandals with uh, with the blue hairband. He hasn't got the black one yet. <clears throat> So Naruto um, would have gotten behind Anko and would have um, held his hand to her throat. He says, "Checkmate." Well, I literally moved away from the mic because I was imitating what Naruto was doing. Oh my god! Anyways, so basically Naruto would imitate this. Well, um, would not imitate this. Naruto would do this, and Anko, you know, would be so shot. He says, "Hmm, I bet you survived the forest." Naruto says, "I'm counting on it." As Anko tells everyone that killing is allowed, basically yada 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 the entire force of death thing, and Naruto goes to get their permission slips. But someone has has their interest peaked. How could a kunai break just from touching someone's skin? 
And it's not like it decayed. It legit broke like it hit something too hard for it. It's even pierced. So Jamar says, hmm, I might have to mark him and have him do some experience on, experiments on him to see what he's had ability. So, <clears throat> Naruto and them will basically sign the permission slips and we get, I believe they had a heaven scroll in canon. So they would, um, yeah, so they would have a heaven scroll. And they would go to the gates. When Uncle would say, ready? So Naruto was using his um, X-ray vision to scan for everyone inside of the forest. As he sees them all. This is good. I found, I found one. It says, go. And as you know, Naruto immediately go and rushes and this thing rushes into the, the forest. But Naruto says, I really have to pee. Can I go? Sasuke says, at a time like this, Naruto. Naruto says, yeah. At a time like this, Sasuke. Sasuke would say, wait, a code. It's, they would give a code, but, you know, how Naruto is. He hasn't got that Kryptonian knowledge yet. So, you know, still an idiot. <clears throat> so, you know, Naruto would be peeing. And, you know, no, he wouldn't be using any of his powers when the snake would come out of nowhere and swallow Naruto. But it would take, before Naruto can, um, you know, Naruto hasn't even really paid attention to the fact that, you know, He's been swallowed. He's still pink inside of the snake. As Naruto um, then um, looks up, he notices that he's inside of something. His eyes immediately grow red. There's a beam shot out of the snake. If, um, as it, cut, it is cutting around a, a circle for Naruto to get out of. <clears throat> so, um... Yeah, Naruto, you know, would go back towards his team where he would see, you know, Sasuke and them cowering in fear. Because, you know, they obviously figured out it wasn't Naruto because, you know, Naruto wouldn't remember the password. As Orochimaru is about to hit Sasuke with, um, stretching his neck, when Naruto will run up and will grab the neck. So Orochimaru says, my neck, such strength is stronger than Tsunade's. As Naruto eyes glow red, as he shoots a beam out of his eye, um, basically uses his heat vision to cut Orochimaru's neck off. This is when Orochimaru's neck, um, while stretched, would um, begin to grow out in width and girth. As another Orochimaru would come out, Naruto says, Man, you are weird. He says, Hmm, a two for one. Don't mind if I do. As Orochimaru then uses a great breakthrough. As Naruto pushes Sasuke and Sakura out of the way, Naruto takes the great break, tanks it, tanks this great breakthrough. Which, you know, we saw in canon that it sent the entire team basically flying out. Flying away. I actually gotta go to sleep soon. So, anyway. So, Naruto, you know, will take this. So, Shimano will say, I got him. So, Rojima will reach out his neck as he will finally bite Sasuke. Let's give me a pain. These, um, <clears throat> as narcissists. So you've been my friend. That's not very nice, Orochimaru. As Orochimaru will tense up, he says, how do you... I can see your face, and I've only seen that face in one book. The book of the legendary Sani. Well, actually, two. The bingo book. Being one of the greatest traitors to the hidden leaf. Orochimaru the Sani. How far you have fallen to resorting to biting on little kids' necks? Mm -mm -mm. And says, "Your necks." As he stretches his neck out, as he tries to sneak his fangs into Naruto, but his fangs will break. Naruto says, "Yeah, I'm kind of invulnerable." So Naruto will grab Orochimaru's neck and will look at um his eyes will glow red. So Orochimaru says, "My neck, not again." As Naruto would then look towards Orochimaru's body. As he, he would basically use his heat vision to trace up from Orochimaru, the bottom of Orochimaru's legs all the way through his body, cutting him effectively in half. But this is when another Orochimaru would just come out. And Orochimaru says, this, I, came, I got what I came here for in the first place. I'm leaving. As Orochimaru basically leaves, you know, Naruto, he doesn't hit Naruto with the five elements of sin because Naruto didn't use the Kaiyubi's power. <clears throat> so, yeah, 
So Naruto and them would go um, and find shelter for Sasuke so that he can heal. And when, um, by the time they will wake up, this is when the sound, Sasuke will wake up. This is when the sound he would arrive, would have arrived. As Naruto says, so, what do you guys want? If Naruto gets the crisis next, he says, I hope you're more of a warm-up than that snake guy. He's saying, did he just call Orochimaru a warm-up? And Zaku then does his vacuum, his little wind thing. I forgot what this man's. Um, abilities were. Anyways. Because Naruto will take this. This is when Dose would appear. As Naruto, as he used his attack, as Naruto's ears would begin to bleed. As Naruto is beginning to get angry. As he looks at Dosu. As he begins to use his heat vision. And fra and you basically, um, he basically melts Zaku's metal thing. No, Dosu's, not Zaku's. Zaku's metal. And Sasuke would arrive and began to try to break and began to start to break Zaku's arm off of his body. Take it off. You know, when Sakura would hug Sasuke. And after this, Naruto would begin, with Sasuke would pass out for a little bit. But Naruto would jump up. As he was, you know, kind of floating for a little bit. So he knows he only. With the control he has now, he has at least a couple, like, a minute in the air. As Naruto's eyes glow red, as the wind is going behind him, as thunder is behind him, too. He says, is this a god? As Naruto says, hand over your scroll. I know you have an earth. As they would immediately drop the scroll and run away. Naruto and they will take, so Naruto will land down. And a couple of seconds later, Sasuke, you know, would uh, wake up. As Naruto says, good, you're awake. We can leave now. As they would leave and go to the, um, to the center of the shooting exams. So, this is what happens in the force of death. And this is going to be a short part, because I have my what ifs break up into five, six different parts. Anyways, <clears throat> so Naruto would have had, um, damn, what do I want to do? Yes, this is what I want to do. Naruto would have had his team there in a couple seconds. You know, Sasuke is still freaked out about this. He's wondering how did Naruto get so, so fast. As Naruto then says, well, from what I can read, it says open the scroll. Yeah, basically interpreting that he wants us to open the scrolls. And, you know, they do this. And Iruka comes out and escorts them inside. And we basically have a time skip to the next three, I believe they had two days. No, four days. So four days left, the time skip, when all teams would arrive. To when, this is when, you know, Hiruzen would greet them all. And, tell, and, you know, they would basically, the Prato would say that, any of those who do not wish to continue, you can quit, as this will not affect your team, and your teammates can still continue. <clears throat> now, the only person who really quit was Kiba, not Kiba, damn. What is this? <laughs> Kabuto. But I believe he's the only one in canon to uh, quit. So, yes. Kabuto would quit. And all matches would go much to canon. Except in itself for Choji's match. Because I believe Choji fought Dosu. Oh, uh, yeah, in Naruto's match. So, we're going to get to Naruto's match first. Naruto will be going against Kiba and Akamaru. Naruto says, This is easy work. Kakashi says, Oh boy, poor Kiba. Kurenai says, What? You have so much faith in your um student? He says, Faith. I just hope your team. I just hope your student makes it past Naruto. Naruto might might actually might accidentally massacre him. As <clears throat> Kiba, you know, starts the match with trash talk. This doesn't really anger Naruto. As Naruto knows that there's nothing that Kiba can do to hurt him. So which Kiba and them will basically do their fang over fang and will hit Naruto. It's you not know, everyone's just watching Naruto, just standing there and looking around. Naruto chops them both in the neck and says, are you done? As this is basically what happened. 
But when he was, they hit the ground, a cradle will form. And Nakamura will poof into smoke and, you know, be reformed as, um, because it was a transformation due to, I believe. You know, and everything. No, this would suck, everyone. <clears throat> so, um, you know, Naruto will obviously win, and we're going to go to Choji versus Dosu's match. Now, this will actually, there's not much changes, except um, Dosu can barely use his gauntlet, and he's barely able to stop Choji, but, you know, it ends up in a double knockout, eliminating Dosu from the finals. As you know, the third Okage will tell them they have a month of training for the, um, for the finals. And will tell them to draw everything. So yes, Naruto did still make his promise to Neji. And while Naruto actually, he did not still want to save Hinata. He was still the Joni because Naruto wasn't pink, um, didn't notice what Neji was up to, you know, until after. So... Yeah, that's basically what happened with Hinata in it. So, now Naruto, you know, they will go through the matches. It will be Naruto versus Neji. Gara versus Sasuke. Konkuro versus Shino. Tamari versus Shikamaru. These are the four matches. And as you know, they are all dismissed. As you know, Naruto will head straight to the Okage mansion, and as uh, Kakashi says, good luck, Naruto. It says, thanks, Sensei. Now, Sasuke was actually not there, so Kakashi got um, drawn for him. Uh, Kakashi had Sasuke wait, because, you know, he had to make sure Naruto didn't kill anyone or show off with too much of his abilities. Anyways, so Naruto would have had um what, 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 Naruto would have had went to the Hokage's office, which he would not as he was gonna say come on in, cause he was in basically body flickered out and went to his office before Naruto could leave. Naruto says, "Oh man, I'm here." He was just says, "Ah, Naruto." As he calls one of his zombies, um, he says, "Go re go get Jiraiya." As um Jiraiya appears um in the room. As he says, Ardo man, what do you want? She was able to say, Well, Jiraiya, I believe you know Naruto, your godson. As Jiraiya would say, Yeah. Well, Naruto will be leaving Konoha for the month of training, and you will be accompanying him and training him, along with the training that he's going to be receiving outside of Konoha. Why won't he be in Konoha? Those reasons are completely up to Naruto. He might tell you on a trip there, which I'm probably going to have him to do anyway. That's what I'm saying. But he was never says he probably will tell you on the way there. Pack your things and you and Naruto are leaving. As he was going to write on, um, basically give them a scroll as, <clears throat> you know, Naruto and, and <laughs> I'm just kidding, Naruto and Jiraiya was set out. It's not to say, all right, Jiraiya. Not that we're too far away enough. The reason we're leaving Konoha is he was go, go on about Kryptonians and everything, his awakenings and all this thing. You know, Jiraiya will be gobsmacked. You know, mouth on the, on the dirt. Jiraiya can swallow a small, tiny tree with how big, uh, with how far his mouth is to the floor. I mean, he, well, he can fit a tree in there and not swallow one. Hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> Anyways. Nanta says, sorry, Jirai, we have to get there fast. I'll be back in the winter clothes. And Jirai says, no. Nanta says, go get some. As they will head, as Jirai will head back into the village. As you know, he will meet up back at, up with Naruto where they were, you know, where they first lived. Mm. So, he, um, when Jirai arrives, Nanta says, all right, Jirai, you have anything? As Jirai will pull out a scroll, as he says, yes. As Nanta says, you might want to hold on to that. As Jirai will say, yeah, I'm gonna trust you on this. And so I will place it inside of his inside somewhere to hold it securely. Naruto will pick up Jiraiya. Jiraiya will say, "What are you doing?" I'm say, "Let's go." So Naruto will basically speed off. As a couple hours later, an hour like hours of running, so fast 
You know, Jariah can't even see where he's going. So, he's basically boring past everything. Naruto will basically arrive at the Fortress of Solitude's entrance. This is when Naruto would get a shot. Now, he knew Carl was here, but he just didn't know, you know, she was at the Fortress. So, Naruto says, Kara. says, hello, Naruto Uzumaki. As you know, I am Naruto. <clears throat> As you know, I am Kara Zarel. Kara Devers, as some people call me. My cousin has sent me here to train you and to stay on this planet with you to watch over you in hopes that you will choose the right path. As you know, Scriptonians have godlike abilities. As I've seen, this world has got some godlike abilities, but not as good as ours. This is why I'll be training you for this month. Well, well I would be training you. And this is good, because we have a month. She says, oh, my. It's not to says, yeah. Well, you see, there's this thing called the tuning exams that I'm participating in. She says, you cannot use your powers. It's not to says, well, in this world, even the strongest, no one else, no one holds in no secrets except Ambu. So it's kind of going to be revealed at the, then, at the tuning exams finals. This car says, oh, I guess. I guess I will help you. It's this good. Naruto says, hey, Sensei, Jirai is just, his mouth is on the jaw. He's, Jirai is, now he sees Naruto talking to a girl, a beautiful girl. Naruto smacks him on the head, dropping him down to the ground. His car says, Naruto, you, you do not hit innocence. Naruto says, don't worry, this is just my godfather. From what I've known from um, the, the Hokage, he's a pervert. Oh. Ms. Ryan would immediately stand up and would run up to Kara and say, How are you? Was Kara would say, Let go. Ms. Ryan says, Well, Naruto, I was planning on training you this this month before all the news. Well, what were you planning on teaching me? Well, I was planning on teaching you, you know, some chakra control and the summoning jutsu. Summoning? Yes, the toad summoning. You see, my last summoner, the fourth Okage. Wow, you taught the fourth Okage? Yeah, I did. Anyways. Naruto, the last summoner. <clears throat> My last student, the Fotokage, was um, the last summoner of the, not the exact last, but was the last summoner. Person assigned the contract. <laughs> I said last summoner, like three three to four times. Anyways, Naruto would say, wow. He says, well, I do plan on rebuilding the Kryptonian, something that Superman couldn't do. He didn't want to do because he didn't want to harm the the women, the woman in his life, he could never put her through that stress. Car says, "Yeah, I told him to do it, but you know he was against it." So you were into this? He says, "Yeah, we do need to rebuild the Kryptonians, but I guess you will be the Kryptonian to rebuild on this world." Stunta says, "Yeah, and if you find love here, maybe you too." This car says, "I guess." Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. It says first, we need to find your Kryptonian name. That's not what I was say. I know I said I was going to do a poll. So I still am after I upload the first video. <clears throat> but it won't change. It probably won't change to like the fifth video. It says, Naru, um, nar -el. Hmm. nar -el, huh? And I heard nar here stands for fish cake. It says it also means... Maelstrom. I like that meaning. Don't call me fish cake. All right, fish cake. So, now it's time to get a control over your abilities. Not to say I got just the thing. Start to say something. Hey, wrong one. Shadow clone with Jutsu. It's not until we make at least hundreds of shadow clones. Carl says, wow. Nanta says, these are all equal shadow clones. They all have the same strength as I do when I'm, you know, just me. So, my strength, apparently, you know, chakra and everything is divided, but my strength and nothing else, all of my Kryptonian um, powers are not divided at all. Wow. Mr. Wright says, what? Oh, God. Man, I feel bad for whoever fights you with, with your shadow clones. No, it says, yeah. He says, hey. No, it says, you know what? Never mind. It's not so make too many more shadow clones. It's not to say, it's, all right, you guys, go work with Jiraiya on the summoning jutsu and some chakra control. It's, Carl will say, all right, Naruto. <clears throat> not to say, all right, Carl, these can help me train. 
basically transfers muscle memory and experience and everything to back to me when I dispel. Hmm, pretty good. Well then. And, well, you know, I'm invulnerable, so. Yeah, I guess. And she says, well, let us begin our training. So we're in time skip two weeks. Now, over the two weeks, not so we kind of gotten, you know, closer. You know what I mean by closer, but, you know, not that close. You know, Kara enjoys her time with Naruto. And, you know, Naruto does with Kara. You know, this is something like he pictured Sakura. When, if he ever started their relationship. Started a relationship with Sakura. It's kind of what he envisioned. So, yeah. <clears throat> Kara would then say, All right, Naruto. You've gotten the um, basics. You've gotten actually... A hold of everything pretty fast. Two weeks, huh? And she says, yeah, that's what happens when you can use up to 500 Shadow Clones. Says, yeah. Well, at least the Kryptonian mind is, um, is, Kryptonian's mind can handle all the memory input from your clones. And she says, yeah. Thank God, or I'd be dead. And Kara says, alright, Naruto. It's now time to learn, um, take on Kryptonian's knowledge. She says, make at least a hundred shadow clones that go over to there. As Naruto will go over to to where Ricardo pointed, I'm gonna say the learning section in the um Fortress of Solitude that um Superman's father had built to, you know, teach Clark or Superman when he was young, in case, you know, he went there young. So that's basically what happened. So Naruto would spend the next two weeks there. Now, in the first week, Naruto would have gotten down. Well, actually, in the first day, Naruto would have gotten down the summoning jutsu. Because, you know, Naruto. As Naruto says, wow. This car says, all right, Naruto, you're now ready. Naruto says, ready. You don't mean. Yes, Naruto, I do. It's Naruto will grin. Jirai says, ready for what? It's Naruto says, for my suit. Naruto says, but we're going to have to change the cape. The cape? Oh, no. He's going to be wearing a cape, like a whole Kage. Naruto says, oh, nothing like that. As Kara will take Naruto over to where Superman's old, one of Superman's old, well, Superman's old suit. I actually haven't decided on what type of suit to get him. But um, if I do, when I'm editing, th when I'm editing this, it will be up. But anyways... Naruto would get the suit and would have the Konoha symbol um, made, put onto it. At, below the, you know, the symbol of hope on the cape. Now, this the um, symbol on his chest is still there. It's just the um, the symbol of hope of Krypton. Now, for that, um, now, we're going to go to the end of the month. You know, Naruto and Kara have gotten a lot more closer. Almost on the verge of dating. You know, they started holding hands a lot more. Now, Kara doesn't view Naruto as her cousin because, you know, he's not. He's just the reincarnation of her cousin's soul. You know, Naruto just does not care. He doesn't even see her as his cousin. Because all they really did was change his parents' DNA. Um, his parents' DNA he mixed with him. And took his, he changed his parents' DNA to Kryptonian, basically. You know, and that's inside of him. Mixing it and, you know, making him Kryptonian. So, yeah, that's basically what happened. So, this is when, I don't know, to Cesar, Dry, are you ready? Dry says, yeah, kid, let's give him hell. So this is where I'm ending off the what if, because the next part will actually probably be shorter than normal. But anyways, yeah, I'll be ending off the what if here. Wish you guys good luck, peace, and goodbye.